Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Culture with Reno Z. This is your fellow players I'm speaking. <laughs> Very interesting game to talk about. As always, I'm not going to miss the day after Juventus in Como. These days after, I'm going to keep scrolling, but it's going to be more enjoyable, I hope, after yesterday's game. Because last year, oh, the day after of Juventus, Milan, Juventus, uh, Empoli. It was always bad because we never seen good play soccer. But after yesterday, let's hope it keeps it this way because it's only Como. So put a beautiful like and subscribe, guys. What have we witnessed yesterday? Yes, it was Como. Yes, I was skeptical because if you remember in the past, we lost with Empoli first time against Juventus. We we lost with. Benevento, Crotone with Pirlo. So we had bad experience with these new teams coming to Serie A. You know, this effect that we had, uh, that most of the fans, especially me, in three years under Allegri, you know, you still have uh, to adjust to see this new system. Because let's face it, the first half and second half was a beauty. Because after the first half, seeing how they played, 4-3-2-1, attack as a team it was a beauty but then you're thinking i hope they they don't start defending this and that and they still continue scoring even though that offside was kind of fishy from vlaovic but then they still managed to score the third goal and i'm sorry with mr vlaovic guys i don't know what you guys think about vlaovic i know a lot of people have been attacking me because i've i've been calling vavo miss and even my friend texted me yesterday hey, this guy's cursed We've seen it last year. We've seen it uh, uh, this year with the national team, the friendlies. Something is... Uh, yes, the first two goals, guys. You know, maybe it's not his fault. You catch the ball, that's unluck. But the last one, you had your opportunity to just ragazzo. The game should have been finished 6-0, in my opinion. Like, the first goal, uh, Bangula. I never heard who he was. I thought it was Turam at some point. Did a nice goal. The 22 second. Then thanks to Vavich with a nice assist to Wea. He did a nice goal, Wea. Like, it just got him barely. I was like, that's not cool. Then the ref said, no, it's cool. Because now they have the, the new system that it will vibrate on their arm. Saying that's a goal when it's over the line. And then the last minute, Mr. Cambiasso. Kudos to them. And, you know, you're playing with Como. Thiago Moto was like, yes, he had the players. Those were the players that he had. He put him on. Like, Gatti as a captain. And he even said after the press conference through Giovanni Abanese and company, it doesn't mean if you're seniority or mediocrity, everybody needs the chance to be responsible. And I was shocked to see Gatti as a captain, which I do like Cap uh, Gatti. The Gatti for me. Mm. Nonsi talk. We're going to see a lot of those this year. So, but guys, besides that, compared to Inter Milan, we have three points. They're already saying, oh, congratulations to the school that, oh, you beat Como. Hey, we beat Como. You guys tied with Genova and Milan tied with Torino. So, is this the first game? Let's all relax, enjoy. And I just can't wait to looking forward for the next games, guys. So, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Now, to close it up, guys, I know through my Instagram, Twitter, whatever I've been reporting, it is from my, uh, through my sources. The, this rumor of, you know, cool miners. My gut feeling says tonight. Even my sources saying, Probably by tonight, but it's gonna be coming soon, guys. We just need to relax. Coop Miners is gonna be in. I know for a fact by the end of the Mercado, we're gonna bring in three players. It, it is a close deal with Nico Gonzalez. I don't really like him. Let me know what you think. Because for me, no more buying players in Italy, man. Comis pulled that shit up to us 40 mil, then to Atalanta 30, and now he changed, he put up to 40 even for Atalanta. Which Atalanta just got Belanova. So they're getting all these players. Retegui, Belanova, uh, Brescianini. 
So you do have the money. So I'm guessing maybe underneath Juventus did pay for this combiners. They're just waiting for him to come to do the visits. So once he comes in, we're good to go, guys. Him, I'm hoping Conceau. I don't know what people complain about the prices, but the prices are high. Just spend the money. I know we have to watch out for financial fair play, all that kind of stuff, but I don't think it's going to kill us if we spend $30 million on uh, Conceau. Because the Kiza situation, guys, ain't looking pretty. So, uh, rumors are saying that he might go to Barcelona. We'll see. We'll see what happens. we got two weeks on the go, and we'll see what happens. Put a like and subscribe. And we will chat soon for some news. Not only Juventus, I'll bring up some other news. Because pretty much we're going to find out the Napoli situation. Some other news from Milan. And yeah, I think Roma might bring some players soon. Let's wait and see. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. Ching, ching.